Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about project a texture or such a pattern uniformly on a other mesh. Okay. So maybe something here like this here. And better, I think it's not possible in, in Nomad Sculpt. Okay. So I start from the beginning. And I delete here this and I delete this. And so I clear the mask. Okay, so let's say this is our starting object and you want to project a texture on this. So I use a other object for the texture. So I use a plane. So, and I bring the plane in position. So I'm using here snapping and I rotate the plane in 90 degrees. So it's aligned and I make it bigger, maybe like this. So, and the position, I think I bring it here in this position, um, yeah. Okay, so we can validate the plane and then I check the, the wireframe. We need much more topology. Ah, and important is here uh, when you add the plane that the UV map is active here, this checkbox. So you need a, a UV for this plane. Okay, then we increase the uh, poly count. So I use linear subdivision and I, yeah, maybe 270,000 vertices is okay. And so I put my, my texture on the, on the plane. I use the opacity slot here, this one. So. So the question is why there's no opacity? Hmm. Ah, because we are in face group mode. Okay, so we have our texture. Now I change the scaling maybe to two. Yeah, it's okay. So, and the next thing is here in the MISC menu, we use now the reproject option here reproject and at the moment we reproject the vertices so this checkbox and make sure that the ray bias is 100% here this setting this checkbox so now our plane is selected i reproject and i hope it worked So like this. So we reprojected everything and you see here a few problems. So we have to fix it. So here in the operations menu, um, here's the smoothing. So use the smoothing and press reproject again. So now I think it's okay. So the next thing is here, you see here the stretching on the mesh. So this here, and you can use here the relax, um, um, relax feature. So uh, we have to relax it. What's happening? Um, 
maybe because we have such a um, uh, the, 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 uh, the multi resolution I go a few steps so now it works better so the, the poly count is too high uh, for this, uh, so I reduced the multi-resolution. So let's see the wireframe. So here like this. So you can relax it more and more. And you see this the stretching of the texture. I hope you get it. Okay, so now the next thing is here, we have to change uh, our object and then um, we have to use here again the reproject thing and now we change the setting to opacity to mask. Make sure ray bias 100%. So I reproject now from uh, the plane. So this is here our mask now. So at the moment we don't need the plane anymore. So and here in the mask menu so we can invert also the mask so that we get the grid. It's up to the texture. And now, yeah, it, it's extracted, so the height is set and I use smoothness sharp border and I extract the whole thing. So we can clear the mask and I turn outline off. So now we get such a yeah, grid texture on the other mesh. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.